Alright guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh here with Super Sport Enthusiast, okay? Or if you prefer, it's Josh, whatever it is. Guys, I want to bring you some great information today. Um, it's better later than never. So I have a list here with the best new cars arriving in 2021. Yes, some of the cars are 2020s, but we're probably going to mention things like the C8, this Toyota Supra. Those are models that came out in 2020, but of course we're talking about the new future features that is going to be presented in 2021. So stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a thumbs up, like this video, share it if you can, because we are growing slowly but surely, and I definitely appreciate it. So before I keep talking, let's get into it. Alright guys, for number one, as you guys can see, we got a 2020 Polestar 1, if I'm pronouncing that correct. So this car is built from Volvo. It recently changed its performance Polestar lineup of cars into a, uh, I guess its own sub-brand kind of thing, okay? So now the Polestar will finally um, begin selling its first vehicles. A uh, two-door plug-in hybrid coupe presented initially from Volvo Concept Car in 2013. The Polestar 1 has emerged as a possible uh, front-runner for the high-performance hybrid car market. Remember, it's 2021, 2022. People are coming for this hybrids. And uh, I would say every major car maker, every major car manufacturer are now looking into the future, which is going to be EV electric vehicles now this is a thing uh, you can order the Polestar 1 it has a starting price about 155,000 and it will start building about 500 units with 200 allocations for North America and a lot of people were talking about okay if there's a Polestar 1 they have to be what a Polestar 2 so yes here you go the 2021 Polestar 2 uh, the following of course is the Polestar 1 this is more of the SUV version the first vehicle from Volvo new electric car brand to introduce the second vehicle um, right after the Polestar 1 so we know the Polestar Star 1 is more of a sedan and the Polestar 2 is more of an SUV variant. This looks sleek. It looks amazing. It looks a little bit oddish, but I like where it's going with this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this one. And don't be shy, but here we go to Tesla Roadster. This is a car that excites me. Um, definitely excited me the first time it was debuted and announced in 2017. The Tesla Roadster is a primed and set performance benchmark for electric vehicles. So we know the biggest thing about the um, Tesla here and it's definitely the roadster was the zero to 60 speed in less than two seconds so again a lot of people are going to go crazy about that it will hit zero to 60 i believe in about 1.9 that is a fast and one of the fastest i think the world will and has ever seen when it comes to an electric vehicle we know there's a lot that's been coming out recently from every branch from chevy to ford to everything um, all the other guys and nothing is really competing with this one we have the 2020 Cadillac CT5 or CT5V. Um, Cadillac has introduced several new models to the, in the past few years. We know it talked about the XT4 uh, Super Compact SUV in 2009, the XT5 Midsize SUV in 2017, the CT6 in 2016. So 2020, you're getting the CT5 and the CT5V. For 2020, they're continuing the trend of an all-new CT5 luxury small car. Um, it's sort of going to have like a flashback design. The CT5 looks... Um, to be combined with the latest in driving technology and of course presence it is a luxury car but it's going to have that performance with the v-pack all right so it's going to be offered with a 2.0 liter 2.0 liter uh four cylinder creating about 237 horsepower to 258 horsepower um about 250 260 feet pound of torque and it's going to come mated with the 10-speed automatic transmission. I don't know. I'm guessing that's going to be the same one that the Ford Raptor or the Camaro or the Mustang is offering. Maybe just with a few different gearings. The CT5 of offers an upgrade twin turbocharged 3.0 liter six cylinder that this one produces 335 horsepower, 400 feet pound of torque. Of course, with the turbo, it's going to be up there. Again, it ups its twin turbo output to 360 horsepower. Uh, rear wheel drive standard CT5 all wheel drive is available across all trims to include the CT5 V. Now imagine that the CT5 V coming with all wheel drive. That is something new. And if you're talking about the CT5, when you talk about numbers, you know you're going to have the 2020 Cadillac CT4 or the CT4V. Um, following the heel of the 2020 Cadillac CT5 will be the smaller um, 2020 Cadillac CT5 sedan. So it, this is just a smaller variant. Good thing to wait and easy way to dis discriminate or actually to disseminate, I'm sorry, between the two is going to be CT4. We know 4 is smaller and 5 is a bigger number, so you're just going to jump up to a large sedan or a mid-sized sedan. 
Next, we have the 2021 Audi e-tron GT. Yes, that is it. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? The third member of the Audi um, family of electric vehicles in 2021 is the e-tron GT. A long, low slung for the doors, fast back. We know Audi expects the e-tron um, e GT to carry about 590 horsepower battery electric powertrain. So far, the car has only been shown in concept form. So when that hits the road, then we will really know what is going on. Then next on the list, we have the BMW uh, i4, the 2021. The BMW is set to join the electric four-door fray with all new models. The 2021 BMW i4 is a grand coupe. That BMW speaks for um, four-door sedan, uh, four sedans with low coupe-like uh, roofline. Um, intended to compete with models such as the Tesla Model 3, the i4 packs a high-power, long-range drivetrain. So again, the BMW is expected to have its top trim of the i4 electric powertrain produce about 530 horsepower and a range of 300 miles in a single charge. So again, when it comes to electric vehicles, anyone can make them look fancy, anyone can make them look nice, but it's all about the range. Don't forget that. I don't know how I exactly feel about this 2021 Electra, uh, Electra Mechanica Solo. If I'm pronouncing that right, let me know in the comments below. If not, let me know what it really is. So this is electric vehicle startup. Um, we know the Electric Manica plans to start producing its unique single passenger electric car late in 2020. I mean, this car looks like it got stuck coming out of something. It almost made it out and then it all right, guys, and of course, next, you can't miss the 2020 or the 2021 Chevy Corvette Stingray. Um, we know that they've been pushed back ridiculously due to what's going, going on pandemic-wise, but the 2021 is going to be um, upgraded stuff for the new model. So this is, yes, for Corvette's first traditional um, mid-engine car. It's still rear-wheel drive platform to the all-new mid-engine design is perform features unmatched by previous models um, there's no way that the other Corvette Stingray C7 could admit to what this one packs next we have the 2020 Porsche uh, 911 Turbo and Turbo S the Porsche 911 is the eye of many drivers and um, it's the amazing sports car Porsche, Porsche looks to improve um, upon their cars of course redesigned versions for the 2020 model the latest generation of the German coupe receives more power and new technology. So we know Porsche performance-wise, it is a beast at the track, but Porsche usually get Nick for having, like, eh, not so well interior, not so impressive. So it's glad and it's amazing to see them update something like that. All right, and what we have next here is the 2020 Mercedes AMG uh, CLA 45. Your first thoughts when looking at the CLA coupe may be, it is not a coupe it has four doors after all uh, regardless the german coupe is ready to um pretty much turn heads i mean i love the metallic you've seen a few of these cars on youtube itself um it turns head it drops jaws and it receives a redesign for the 2020 model we know that mercedes rolled out the redesigned cla 250 coupe in 2009 and now they're following it up with a pair of potential AMG tuned versions that are going to be pretty good. The 2020 Mercedes AMG CLA 35 and a Mercedes AMG 45 are in the dealerships now. So if you guys are looking for a car like that, make sure you go get it. All right, well, I'm known to be the V8 guy, but I won't be able to just, you know, love on the V8s. I got to mention the smaller motors like this one right here, the 2021 Volkswagen GTI. Enthusiasts far and wide breathe and sigh of relief when it comes to the recent unveiled of the 2021 Volkswagen GTI. Um, while onboard technology takes a massive leap forward, Volkswagen is still offering a car with a six-speed manual transmission. That is a huge win for fans that enjoy three pedals, especially you guys out here saying save the manuals. Uh, Volkswagen right now is continuing to save the manuals when it comes to the GTI, so hooray for, for these guys. Uh, we have here the 2021 Genesis G80. It replaced the current 2020 Genesis G80. Um, Genesis is very, like, I, I was sleeping on Genesis for a while back in the days when I had a G8, GT, and stuff like that. But um, the Genesis are very luxurious. They're very luxury. We know that. And they also, um, they're pretty quick. They're not slow cars. So, spy shot syndication, however, in 2021, Genesis will be a radical departure from the um, bottomed down 2020 model. It will probably reportedly take style cues from the recently introduced Genesis GV80 SUV and redesigned 2020 G90. So, 
pretty much for guys from a lot of these videos, a lot of these cars, you can tell that the manufacturers are taking into consideration what the customers think, what they like. We know that we're getting into speed, but we're also getting into looks. And right now, nowadays, you don't have to buy a half a million dollar car or a million dollar car to feel rich, luxurious, and amazing. You can buy this 50,000, 30,000, 40,000 in those ranges as well. And I'll keep it short. Let me just finish up with this one. The 2021 Toyota Mira, Mira, whatever. It's, it's going to be messed up. That's what we do on this channel. We learn from our mistakes. All right. So the recent debut of the 2021 Toyota concept has moved, discussed as a car, um, redesigned from the rumor column to an, ex uh, I guess it was an expected revamp that it needed. And the design, it will be pretty much so the mirror appears with a shift from a polarizing green car look to more of a four-door sedan. Um, I think I've seen one of these at Semi. I could be incorrect, but it looked pretty dis decent or whatnot. Uh, the current Mira is Toyota's first um, hydrogen-powered production car. So this is new as I'm literally talking about it because we're getting this um, off of, like, shout-out again, shout-out to USA usnews.com but this is where the information is coming from so like i said it has an epa estimated range of 312 miles and a fuel economy rate at about 60 miles uh, i don't know too much about this i don't know how legit this is i have to do some more homework in it but that is a lot of miles for for a hydrogen car we will see but to finish it off man like i said we did have cars like the 2020 porsche taycan um, I added this one, which was weird, but the 2020 Mercedes Benz, um, weekender, I think this is super cool, especially being out here in Hawaii. I think that this is a vehicle I might have to look into if the family blesses off on it. And, um, that is it. Definitely. Let me keep it short cause it is getting dark outside. All right, guys. Well, that is it for now. Thank you guys for coming back and viewing the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the information. Again, I just wanted to bring you guys some information out there about new cars that are arriving, cars that are already here that possibly got pushed back due to the pandemic. I don't want you guys giving up on the car enthusiasts out here, okay? Um, I should have a burnout video coming soon. I want to say that's my next upload. If my tires arrive, this video was recorded on Monday in Hawaii time. So that's for you guys. It's already midnight. So it's not going to be posted until Tuesday. But stay tuned. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And don't forget, I damn sure salute you. Till next time, baby. Peace. In my wine glass. That's when I look away. Can't stand and think about losing your fine ass. How the fuck I let you slip away? Life for the party, but I'm dead inside. Kill my vibes, it was genocide Hard to act like I've been alive